Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this super elegant look. It's more like that silent beauty look uh, without putting in much effort and gets done very quickly. It's very easy, can be done by anybody. You don't have to be a pro to do this. This is perfect for somebody who's attending an Indian wedding as a guest or an Indian party and you don't have much time in your hands to put yourself together. Or you don't want to be over the top, flashing too many colors at people's eyes, but still want to look glamorous. I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's get this started. I'm going to start with priming my face using the Sani Face Contour Cream. This smells so good, you guys. It's made from rose petals and I don't know, I have this thing for rose smell and I just like rose in my perfumes, rose in my creams. And this is made with real rose petals and feels and smells really good on the skin. To even out the skin tone on my face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. color corrector. This will help to neutralize any darkness that I have on my face. A lot of you have told me that your color corrector is mixing with your foundation and it's appearing orange. It's very important to set your color corrector after you've blended it out with a damp beauty sponge. Use a translucent or a loose powder to set it. Today I'm going to be using the Artistry loose powder to set it. It's only after that that you apply the foundation otherwise it, it is going to mix with your foundation. For foundation I'm using my all-time fave. This is the Dream Liquid Mousse from Maybelline in the color Honey Beige which is a tad darker than my skin tone which is okay because I'll be balancing it out with all the highlighters later on. I actually use this on a daily basis. It has medium coverage and it's perfect for my skin texture. I have combination skin. Half of it is dry and my t-zone is always oily. So if you have skin like me i totally recommend this foundation. It says it has airbrush finish right on top of the foundation and I completely agree with it. To conceal my dark circles, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and Concealer from Maybelline in the color Medium. I'm using a lighter color so it doubles up as a highlighter as well. After I've blended it out with a damp beauty sponge, again I'm going to set it with the loose powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the Giordana Forever Flawless Press Powder in the color Sand. To even out the skin tone of my lids, I'm using the same concealer as before. I'm going to use the Sigma 3D HD brush to spread this out first and then I'm going to set it with some loose powder to stop it from creasing. For my eye makeup, I'm going to be using the Boss palette. This is from Hip Dot. And the reason I'm using this palette is because it has quite a few neutrals in here, the whites, the creams, uh, quite a few browns. You can use any neutral palette, just make sure there's enough browns and creams and whites in there. As my transition color, I'm taking this very light brown color called Belief. This is perfect because it'll melt into my skin tone. And to blend this out, I'm using the Sigma E40, which is a large blending brush. With this, I'm going to carve out just my outer crease. So I'm going to draw that line in the outer crease and start blending it out till I feel like it's melted into my skin. Next, taking the color Motivation with a smaller, more tapered blending brush, which will focus into just my crease and not spread it out as much. I'm going to repeat the previous step. So I'm going to use this just in the outer crease and intensify the color there. But this color will be mostly focused inside the crease and it will not be spread as much as I did with the transition color. Next, taking the color Grace, which is a cream color with a flat shader brush, I'm going to fill in my lids as well as cut my crease very softly. I'm not using a concealer or anything to cut the crease. I'm not going to make it look very sharp. It's going to be a very soft cut crease. 
To soften the crease line further, I'm taking back my Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm not taking any extra color on this, but I will use this in the outer crease to blend out the colors further, just so everything looks really soft and very blended out. Taking the color motivation one more time with a pencil brush, I'm going to use this in my lower lash line only in the outer two thirds, and I'm going to join this line with the upper crease. And using a black eye pencil, I will tight line my waterline, but in the lower waterline, I'm going to use it only in the outer two thirds. This next step is totally optional, but it'll help to elongate the eyes and make it look bigger. I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black to line my top lash line, and I will be pulling out a small wing in the outer corner. Using the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals, I'm going to highlight my brow bones, inner corners of my eyes and the inner one third of my lower lash line. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. This is the Lashomatic Mascara from Wet n Wild. For lashes, I'm using Harjot lashes in the style Love Affair. And if you look at the lashes closely, they're winged in the outer corners. So that'll help to elongate the eyes further and give it that more of a petal or a fish shape, if you may. So it'll make the eyes look bigger and more elongated. I'm not going to be contouring my face. Instead, I will add some warmth by using a very light bronzer and a blush. For bronzer, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the color Light Bronze. And for blush, I'm using the Sigma Aura Powder in pink. This is highly pigmented, so all you need is the tiniest amount. Using more of the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals, I'm going to be highlighting the highest planes of my face just to add some illumination and freshness, especially if you're attending a wedding or a reception. Um, there's going to be flash photography and it looks pretty when there is some illumination on your face. So I'm going to be using this on the highest points of my cheekbones, on my chin, on my cupid's bow and my nose. On my lips, again, I wanted something very neutral to complement the eyes, but I wanted it to be a delicate peach or a pink. And for that reason, I'm using the Sigma lipstick in the color New Mod. I could have stopped it at this, it looks pretty enough, but I wanted to give you a second option with lip gloss. And for that, I'm using the Rimmel 3D lip gloss in the color Blushing. Let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like it matte or do you like gloss? For me personally, I love gloss. I always have gloss on my lipstick. I just feel like the extra shine adds to the extra pout and makes your lips look bigger. And here's the final look. Let me know your thoughts on this look by commenting below and don't forget to hit the like button and show some love. I know a lot of you have been recreating my looks and sending me messages. Sometimes it can get really confusing, especially on social media, on Instagram as well as Facebook. When you send me messages, I have to sort through so many and sometimes I end up missing out on your messages. The easiest thing to do is to post and tag. I never miss a tag. I always come and like or comment on your pictures and I also end up sharing on my Insta stories. Um, so if, make sure if you're recreating any of my looks, you post it and tag Smitha D Beauty on Instagram as well as Facebook. 
Coming up on Thursday is another recreation video. I'm pretty excited about this one because I ended up doing a lot of hand embroidery on the sari. I stitched my own blouse and I did some work on the blouse as well. So it's going to be really exciting. I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday with a brand new one. Bye guys.